fun experiment. I'm here with... Carter. Carter. All right, Carter is gonna be our awesome helper. And uh, what are we making today? A lantern. A lantern, that's right. We are going to make a lantern and hopefully you've printed up your template from our website so you can make sure you have all of the ingredients. We're gonna get started with our mason jar. Yeah. <laughs> you can use any kind of glass or plastic that's clear to make your jar. So Carter, what is this called? Foil. Foil. All right, you wanna make, make sure your foil is tall enough that it can go all the way from the bottom to the top of your mason jar and so it can go almost around it going to technically be on the inside, so I want to make mine a little shorter because I feel like it's a little tall right now. So I'm just going to fold it down a little bit because I just want a little better height on it so it'll be on the inside. Perfect. All right, so now that we did that, we're going to add one more thing to our materials list. Carter went ahead and grabbed me a pillow, all right? Ask your parents permission before you pick a pillow because it could do a little damage depending on how controlled you are. We're gonna take our foil and put it right on top of our pillow. And I'm gonna hand Carter this sharp little poker, okay? He's gonna take this poker and he's just gonna poke holes right into this foil. And I'm gonna hold it in place for him. How much do you As many do? holes as you want. Put a whole bunch of holes. These holes are gonna be your stars. Okay, so that's why you, if you want a lot of stars, you gotta make quite a few holes. So you gotta just keep poking. And what you can do is you can actually make any design you want. You can draw a picture on here, and then you can poke holes in the picture and make a fancy picture. But today, we're just poking some holes for fun. Good, yeah, you can go all the way up, Carter. Keep going, you're doing great. All right, so Carter has gone ahead and poked a bunch of holes into our foil. So now he pokes the holes. We're going to roll it up so it's skinny enough to that we can fit in our mason jar. To fit it in our mason jar. We're going to shove it down in there. Let me get this pillow out of the way. We're going to shove it down in there. Then I'm going to spread it back out. But you do want to make sure it goes all the way around the inside so the light can't get through. Next, you have your light. You can have any little LED glow sticks, little lights or anything. This is kind of a jack-o'-lantern light that we're using. Can I see it? Yeah, can you turn it on for me? And it just has a button on the back, so it has a little bit of light in it. There was a switch. No yeah. Button. It has a switch on the back. Can you switch it on? Yeah. Cool. Now, All right, Carter's going to go ahead and put our light in. And he's going to okay, lower it all the way down to the bottom. Oh, man. Or make sure it's upright. <laughs> Perfect, you got it in there? Yeah. All right, so now Carter has got our light in there. It's giving me some good light. We've got our foil around the edges and we're gonna put the lid on. Why are we gonna put the lid on, Carter? So the light doesn't fly out. So the light doesn't fly out of the top, huh? Yeah. We wanna close that light in here. Now. Okay, ready to see your lantern? I'm gonna turn off the lights while Colton folks. Okay, you be the light person. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. What do you guys think? It's good. good.